What's up guys, Brimrix here. Today we're gonna be working on my C300. We're gonna be installing and upgrading the head unit because the head unit is the one that pops up and closes. So I bought from China, I bought a head unit that looks like this. You guys probably seen this all the, all the time if you guys are trying to upgrade it to the four gigabyte and I think it's four RAM. But we're gonna be installing on the C300. Uh, so you have the uh, pre facelift this is how it looked like. And you know, we're already starting dismantling and stuff. We're gonna be, uh, uh, this YouTuber is helping us because he already did it and you guys can see we already started so uh, Yeah, let's get the new radio installed All right, so while my dad's over here changing his brakes Just came back from the gym Took the evil out, of course Look how good that evil looks It's my baby right there A little bit over the grass, but that's because I left some room because we were gonna be working Oh, you forgot some stuff? Ah, there you go. What? This is a video I've been waiting for a long time. But, let's open the box real quick. I know you guys know from the video title and everything. But, today we're going to be installing the brand new head unit for the C300. Pop it open and show you guys the screen. Looks beautiful. There it is. Dang, it looks beautiful. All right, so let's get um, this radio undone. I'll show you guys the radio once I start getting it off and stuff. So let's get it. All right, guys. So I saw a video on YouTube how to do it. Uh, you guys probably seen this, but his name is Raymond. Uh, he's very hopeful. Uh, the only reason why I'm getting this radio installed is because of him. He um, luckily made a video on how to do it. But he said you had to get a pick tool. Actually, just a screwdriver. Uh, they didn't want to come out. So as you can see, I kind of messed it up right there. I'm like, I'm not going to mess this up. So I just put a screwdriver in there and just pushed it out. And it's out. So now you got to remove this. Um, then uh, should be good to pull out. All right, so I already have the head unit off. I just had to remove these screws right here and these two right here. I'm not really going to show you how to do it. Because if you guys go and look at Raymond's video, He's going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm just literally following his instructions. And uh, so far, so good. He's helping me so much. He, I already took it off. Look. There's the old radio. This is $800. But I think one of these fuses went off or broke or whatever. So I'm going to take a look and see. Maybe replacing the fuse might fix something because it's $800. I can probably recover. But you won't need like... Uh, torque screws so if you get like a little kit like this on ebay or something you can get it luckily my sister gave it to me as a present so i have it here all right so let's go and continue on with the video all right guys so literally a week later after i gave up on the mercedes uh my dad gave me his uh like cable chase or whatever it's called and then we're gonna be uh passing this thing through let me see. Let me see if it even turns on. Oh, never mind. It does. All right. Let me open the door. Barely hits that right there. But you can see right here, we barely have any room to be down here. Okay. Let's see. Because you got to pass the cable through down here. Look, I noticed there's some water in the door. Don't know what that is for. But here's the super messy... Uh, C300 we have here. You got, oh, look, I got money. Sorry, that's just a dollar bill. But, super messy, but here we have the screen, which is the beautiful screen right here we're about to be installing. But look, when I close the door, look at this water. I don't know because it's a sunroof. And we have the Mercedes right here. So, to remove the plastic trim, we need to, uh, there's a uh, screw down there, which I'm gonna show you guys. I thought it was over here. It's this way. Hey, Evo. There's a screw right here, which I gotta find out which size it is. You guys can see right there, so we can remove the plastic trim. And I have here my kit. I'm gonna find which size it is. What size it is. All right, guys, as you guys can tell, we're here uh, with the head unit. As you can tell, we weren't able to uh, fix anything. 
Uh, so what happened is that this won't communicate with this. And it was all because of that white cable you see right here. I just had to switch it with the other one that's connected right now, which is this one. Uh, so the instructions have said that if it doesn't work, just switch it out, which I, it didn't work. So I switched it out and it's telling me now to, uh, uh, let's see, uh, it's easier if you have the instructions, but uh, I don't know if you got, I don't know if you guys are gonna buy the same one, but you have to go here and try out every single one. You gotta hold this for like 10 seconds. And then you go to head unit and then you have to continue choosing down. Um, <clears throat> It's not gonna make sense to you guys, but I mean, whoever is installing it and knows exactly what step I am on, you guys would know what I'm talking about. But as for now, we're just trying to hopefully choose the right one that's gonna take me to the original radio. You know what I mean? The original Mercedes-Benz radio, which I can use this right here, and then the knob and everything else. But uh, the instruction says to keep uh, choosing a. I think there's 11. You can hear it make noise. Like, I don't know. But I don't think it was this one. That's because you can see it doesn't go to the original. So I'm going to have to keep uh, going back and choosing. It's a factory head unit. Let's choose number 10 now. So there's 12. It's got to be one of this one. It's got to be one of those. So choose NGT mode. NTG mode, which is like the original Mercedes-Benz display, which I don't think it was this one either. Because or else you see the, the yellow car right here, and then the yellow screen that you see um, in the original Mercedes. So I, I see, I'll see you guys once I'm done with the head unit, and uh, I'll tell you guys if I found the correct one. As you guys can tell, I'm gonna turn the volume down before I get copyrighted, but. You get the Mercedes clock right there, and then look, I use I use a knob, and it's doing it. So guys, we found the correct screen. It was number eleven out of twelve. Uh, so we found out, and then now we should have noise. So let's go home. Let's see. Okay, go home. So supposedly we should already have music. Let's see if it connects. Now this one. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's that. All right, guys. You can tell it's the next day. So I went to the actual thing that you can control. I've just turned the bass and the tremble up because uh, yesterday we had our uh, bass installed or a sub installed. I haven't showed you guys because it was already too late. But uh, here you go. Uh, obviously, I still got to vacuum up right here. But here we have the subwoofer installed. Uh, it's a Rockford Fosgate 10 inch sub hooked up right there. Let me turn my flash. All right, guys, after uh, fighting forever to get this thing in, as you guys can tell, it's not even that 100% in. There's just no way you can go in with that amount of wires it's got. So, this is the best I did so far guys it's not gonna go in um which is sad because there's so many wires that just unable to go in but i'm gonna leave like this for now it's not gonna be like this forever uh, i still have to install the backup camera and to install the backup camera i gotta remove this this and that again so uh once into the backup camera we can uh get it in 100 percent. but for now it, it looks good right right now as it is you can't really tell unless you like see like right there but i'm gonna try pushing it a little bit more more i can up and now i'm gonna install a little strip in here let's see, let's see. look at the back of it. i mean look at the back of it let me get the little thing in. all right so this is the plastic piece i was talking about that goes underneath the screen which i'm about to install it but uh this card does come with uh auto play and uh car play but you have to have it hooked up which i ran my usb right here as you guys can see, and I also bought this. It's for uh, Apple CarPlay, which I have an iPhone. So I bought this for Apple CarPlay. This also can work for uh, Google, uh, I mean, AutoPlay or Android Play or whatever you guys call it. Let's see. So here is the dongle, which this is a Bluetooth one. Uh, you hook it up. Wait, what? No, I think you hook this part up. 
see that right there and this you can hook it up to uh you know manually do it right uh but now uh, we are going to uh set it up this is this is a wireless uh apple carplay so we're going to set it up and see if it works with my screen which it should work but i'm going to see if i can get it set up while i finish setting up this screen. Right, so the plastic piece will fit in right here as you can tell it's in you can't even see it because the screen really goes covers it but now let's put the screen back down there's little grooves in there there you go there we go all right now it's in uh, <clears throat> there we have the screen let's go get the car started let's you know that the door's open let me open the door that light is red so there we go so this is supposed to be the ngt mode which is the nash the regular uh car mode which you go here Oh, radius off, obviously. That's the original screen. Should be radio. There you go. On 99.5. DC's number one hit music station. This is my song right here. I'm going on doing this. Okay, so I still have to go on it and install the app um, to do Apple CarPlay, I guess. But everything works fine. I've already been uh, driving around like this, but now let's peel this off. So you don't need it no more. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Get this out of here. Look at that. Nice resolution. All right guys, so I'm gonna end it here guys. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions guys, let me know because I've been through this and it's a headache. I'm still not liking how there's a little gap in here. You see the little gap, but I'm gonna have to get uh get used to it, I guess. Um, but yeah, let me show you how it looks from outside. Take my key off. I might head to the gym. It's about to turn off, but this is how it's gonna look from outside. Looks super nice. Let me go around the Mercedes. So this is how it's gonna look from outside when somebody walks by but dang that screen look at things all right let's go have a good one guys